To install the Roxtech Comshelt, you need the frame, the ceiling modules, the stay plates, and the assembly gel. You also need a screwdriver or a socket wrench. Clean the surface around the opening. Fit the frame into the opening and use the screws to mount it to the structure. Use the assembly gel to lubricate the inside of the frame. Be sure to lubricate the corners. Feed the cables through the frame opening. Adapt the ceiling modules to the cable sizes. Peel off layers from the two halves until the module fits the cable. It's important that there is a 0.1 to 1 mm gap between the module halves when held against the cable. Use the assembly gel to lubricate all modules on the inside and the outside. Be sure to lubricate the spare modules reserved for future upgrades. Insert the modules. Begin with the largest ones. Place a stay plate on top of every finished row of modules. Continue to fill the packing space with cables, modules, and stay plates. Don't put any stay plate on the top row. Tighten the two bolts in the compression unit alternately to complete the installation. When you can see the text Compression OK on the compression unit, as well as the line above these words, you know that it's properly tightened. When the modules are compressed, the excess assembly gel is squeezed out and the cable entry is sealed. Reinstallation to add a new cable in the comshelt, you start by opening up the compression unit. Take out the spare module and feed the new cable through the frame. Adapt the module to the cable size and make sure that there is a 0.1 to 1 mm gap. Lubricate thoroughly and reinstall the module. Tighten the bolts in the compression unit alternately. When you can see the text Compression OK on the compression unit, as well as the line above these words, you know that the seal is properly tightened. Roxtech is a global company with a strong local presence. You can find your representative at www.roxtech.com.